It's day three. So like I said, when I was in an elevator full of people who would not understand what was happening, it's day three of C2E2. It's the name of this event. Boy, I need some coffee. Graham. I, I definitely had to think about it for a moment. I was like, it's PAX. Uh, no, no, it's not East. Which one? Which PAX? Calgary is this? Comic. No. Oh God. Uh oh. So yeah, let's get some coffee. To Starbucks. I found a secret Starbucks yesterday. Secret Starbucks. Yeah, it's just in a different hotel. Oh. I got lost. <laughs> what a great secret. Yeah. Well, it was a secret to me. I didn't know it was there. Huh? Starbucks thusly acquired. We're gonna go and join Ian at the booth who went in early because he was dressed. Beach, would you like the honor of writing sold out on the dice bags? Oh, I would. Oh, that sounds great. I am actually that happy. That's great. It's day three. I'm gonna walk the show floor and try to find something fun to buy. There's a lot of screaming coming from nearby me. So I'm gonna try to avoid the screaming, but let's see what happens. So at C2E2, you can basically find literally anything. There's booths that are just enormous piles of Funko Pops, enormous piles of other things, enormous piles of yet further things, walls of pins, there's a lot here. I'm overwhelmed with consumer choice. Truly, peak capitalism has delivered. I'm actually feeling quite overwhelmed here. But I've only got like 30 bucks to spend. So I'm heading down to Artist's Alley, where the first person is gonna show me an awesome tote bag on their dis dis wall of displays. We'll be getting my hard-earned cash. Thank you to that person who wooed in the background of this video. I hope you enjoy being immortalized forever as a guy who wooed. I went to the artist's alley because it would be smaller, but there's honestly more things than I can hold in my head at once. I only had a limited budget. I'd get a beautiful art print from Boya Sun, who I've never heard of before, but boy, is she talented. Like statistically, everything's, you know, don't, you know, you also don't get, oh, hi. Hello. 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 We've been talking to very friendly people at the booth. It's been great. We're almost sold out of play mats. I'm excited. Uh, a lot of people asking for Kathleen's signature in particular, because she hasn't been here for a little while. So there's going to be lots of things for her to sign later. Well, whose fault is that? We don't know why there's a sudden, seemingly, resurgence in Cowboy Bebop interest. But, I mean, there is. There's a lot of it around. So I bought one of those dumb blind boxes. It's sort of meager looking at the bottom, but what do we got here? Oh, all right. Business card holder. A tumbler. Sexy Faye Valentine tumbler. Interesting. It's a stick to things mirror. Interesting. An Ed wallet. It's not bad. Not bad. A lanyard and a belt. Finally. A cowboy bebop belt. It says, it says, it says CU Space Cowboy. This is a ultra saber. Ultra saber. Let's see what it is. So these are deeply unofficial, not remotely related to Lucasfilm ultra sabers. Yep. Yes. Okay. Ooh, a D Sentinel. Chad Maravi. I don't know what any of that means. Ooh, that's not half bad. Is that metal? That's yeah, metal. No, These are nice, actually. Holy yeah. moly. Hit the button. Surely these sound effects are copyrighted. Probably have to pull Oh, that is pretty. There we go. That's, you know, if nothing else, it's gonna be a nice base to work off of. Good two handle. Yeah. I'm a. <laughs> I'm a Jedi now! The lights just. No fanfare. The lights just turned off. That's it, it's over, go home. <laughs> there was no. 
announcement, no like, thank you for coming. It's just like, cut trunk, get out. So, all right, we're packing up now. I guess we should just know better. It's like, when the, it's like when you walk into the classroom and you flicker them on and off. It's like, you know, pack up your shit and leave the classroom and go home. Was that what that always meant? Shit, I just stuck around. Those are our boxes by the Level Up Dice booth. The saga of the boxes can be summarized as they're very heavy. Beej originally planned to carry them for us to carry them on the train. I I said no. Let's pay to ship them. So I was looking around. Who can we borrow packing tape from? Let's go ask our friends at Level Up Dice. Went over there. Said, Hey, can we borrow some packing tape? They said, Nah. We don't use packing tape, we just put everything in our van and then we drive it over there. And then he said, how, how many boxes you got? I was like, well, we got three. And he's like, we'll just bring it over here. We'll put it in the van. So they're going to van our stuff over to East. They are some solid dudes. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. And everyone at Level Up. We should do some work with them someday. <laughs> we should. We should. <laughs> wow. This is, this is like, this is like Rocky for the most lazy people. <laughs> How are your arms holding up? I'm uh, very tired. I want to put them down. No, nope, no, nope, not until the sun sets. That was great. That was very fulfilling. How are you holding up there, Ian? It's fun. Pack meal mode has been engaged. Oh no, that. Okay. Well, I talk like this now. <laughs> oh no. You've, you've got con voice. Hold on. There we go. Back over. Uh, force it back down to the chest. Everything's fine. Hello. This is the brand. Oh, no, no, that's not helping at all. Well, time for karaoke, I guess. I've become so numb. Oh, hello. Wanna look at Flamingo? Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, alright. It's not pink. What's wrong with that Flamingo? Oh, it's got boots! Yeah, it's a baby. Okay, this is different. It had, it had blue suede shoes. Where's the Flamingo wearing boots? <laughs> Flamingo's wearing boots. <laughs> Little blue suede boots. And it's got a weird beak. Alright, hold on, let me see this Flamingo. Ian, why is there a credit card in that cake? <laughs> I was gonna do a whole thing about this and then put it in my mouth and talk more about it. And the more I thought about putting it in my mouth, the more I just wanted it there. Why though is there a credit card in it? Oh, the credit card? Well, I mean, I keep, I, I've been taking this, I bought this visa, I think way back in probably seven years ago, actually, because it's due to expire this year. We, uh, September 2019. We can date that because that's a Target credit card. Mm -hmm. How long was Target in Canada? Oh, no, it wasn't. I bought this in the States so I could buy things on American credit cards. I never have. Did you at least wash it before you cut into the cake with it? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm so disgusted now. Do you not have food safe? Do they not teach you serving it right in Alberta? <laughs> Ian's eaten half that cake, so realistically, if anybody gets food sicky, it's gonna be Ian. He made a little oopsie fucko boingo with his credit card knifey spoonie, and now he's gonna get a sicky wiki on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be stopped. It's an oopsie fucky boingo, cakey poo. It's actually very delicious, just the visa is the, the gross part. Actually, Ian, demonstrate the cake cutting for us. Spectacular technique. You, you still could have washed it. Luxury. Oh, God. 
<laughs> like, that much sugar is going to sterilize it, right? That Oh, wait, sugar, that's the opposite of what sugar does, isn't it? Also, it's midnight and Ian and I have to be up in like five hours. So I'm glad Ian's eaten this much sugar before bed. Means he's going to get a good restful sleep. <laughs> <sighs> I've made some bad choices in my life, but honestly, I don't think any of them have been done here in Chicago. Except for that one and this one. Oopsie fucky boingo cakey wakey. And on that note, I think it's time for Graham and I to do a not at all coordinated handoff. Graham, I think this is the end of our C2E2 vlog. It's been a hoot. It has. But our journey ends here until 5 a.m. where we get up to go to the airport. But your journey continues, does it not? It does. Over on the other channel. We have another channel. It's just for my vlogs. All right. Let's take it home. Thanks. Now we're over here.